Persuas I don't have like a persuasion for her. I cannot. It doesn't matter what kind of crit roll I get. I cannot seduce her. Apparently, they call themselves the end of time. Very little is known about them yet, but there is one very disturbing fact we have. They're castrated. Many of their members have been found dead. With what kind of tennis shoes? I hear that's kind of important. At least seven of them have been found so far. Okay. All dead. All in their homes. Suicide? They ingested a strong poison, and not even my magics could revive those who were found. Maybe because you misspelled magic. We must find out what drives this group, and rid my city of their presence. Speak with Marilyn often at the Great Bazaar. Her brother Seville was one of those found. Learn what you can about them. James Durant. And of this Eno will marry. Take care of him, though. The words of a martyr cry louder than those of a zealot. Right, of course. Marilyn Othan? Look for her in the bazaar. Find out what she knows. I was kind of hoping for a location. Fine. Marilyn Othan. And Seville. Marilyn Othan's brother. Right, you have know, nothing he really. He was found dead. Just like the others. Yes, thank you. I am leaving now. So you don't need to do the godly voice. Even though mine was awful. So we need to head to the Great Bazaar, which I think I've been going this way to go to the Great Bazaar this whole time. Hopefully I don't have to kill anything. So I didn't have to explore anything in the freaking ruins. That's kind of disappointing. At the same time we're leaving, but still disappointing. That's where I picked those already. Marilyn Othan, you What's are a dude. Daron! Marilyn. Marina. Did you ever meet up with that guy? I have to thank you for helping me find Fawn's Baron. I really owe you an apology, James Ryan. I didn't have faith in your choice. I listened to the rumors I heard and said I believe in you. But Fawn's turned out to be so polite and so attentive. I was surprising to say the least. So thank you. You've done so much for me. Okay, so. Apparently, I said. I set her up with the right person. That was you. Yes, yes, it was me. No. Not. No. Wait. No. Dude. Marilyn Othan, come on. No. Enderin. Nobody cares about the Enderins. Pets or meat. Get your spin. Uh, how are things going for you? It's probably you, isn't it? But let me talk to you first. Works out better than I ever thought I could. She's something else. I don't quite know what to say. I haven't felt like this about anyone before. I can't believe I'm actually thinking about sending them down. I know, I know. It'll be quite a blow to the laser moaner. But maybe they'll get over it. Okay. I mean, to be wearing black for a while, you know, to moan the loss of my eligibility. No matter though, I couldn't care less now that I've got my right now. So, did it, that complete the quest? And, right, mistake sale. Black Dark Gang, I only got one of them. Yeah, I completed the quest. Sweet. Didn't get anything, probably because I did it the wrong way. Mm. Yeah, there we go, it's Marilyn Othan. Uh, I want to talk to you first about your brother. I should probably, like, yeah, you've heard about my brother. It's hard to imagine he's gone. All would be well if he hadn't fallen in with, you know, Rummer in the, those ends of time. The lunatic Suffer was a lonely man, a bit lost. But he was hardly stupid. It was that cult that caused his death. You know, Rummery, a lunatic. You'll find, often find him outside the Wink Guar, spouting his nonsense to passers-by, into the drunk stumbling out of the tavern, ends of time. They are a suicide cult, plain and simple. Their beliefs are destructive, heretical, and frightening to me. Don't know how my brother ever got involved with them. Begin to see them all over the city, but you'll most find them. Yeah, God's Reach, Wink Guar, got it. They preach that the tribunal have lost their powers, and that this is a signal that the apocalypse is near. He teaches his followers that our time in Tamriel is at an end and the gates of oblivion will soon open and the Daedra will walk the land. Only the ancestors who have already left this world will remain once the Daedric scourge covers the earth. So he promotes what he calls the cleansing. It's a ritual suicide. My brother was no fool, but he was a trusting person. Always looking for someone or something to believe in. He thought he had found that in the end of time. Okay. He didn't give me all the information that I require, but she gave me enough. Hopefully I do not have to kill these people. Uh, but at least they gave me a very specific location. That's always nice. So I assume that there's going to be some really good equipment down there, but... I'd look that way too. No, you wouldn't. You're jealous. 
of my bulging cod piece? Like, what am I wearing? It's like slightly off color. Then, er, whatever. James Duran, girdle wearer. We need to head over to God's Reach, and there we should find. That is not the way to God's Reach. That is the way outside, and they don't want me to go outside. Wait, what were these? Just verminous. Okay, I'll take that. These guys were a little different. I probably should have gone on this side. The hulking were probably stronger. I can't even pick up two more of those. But fortify strength, that's damn good. I'll probably be using that next time I have to, to kill something, which is always. Uh, Weed Guar is this Just over here. Hello. So I assume this guy doesn't show up until I start this quest. Let's go ahead and save now, because this could end very badly. Uh, my greens and blessings upon you. Right. How can I help you through the journey of this life? End of times. We're a peaceful group dedicated to relieving the suffering all are feeling in these troubled times. I teach my followers the way to enlightenment through understanding of what is happening in our world and what is to come in the next. All of my people know the importance of preparedness for the coming troubles. Many are willing to make great sacrifice for our cause. How may I ease your mind? Beliefs. Our beliefs are very simple, dear friend. The Blessed Tribunal, though once filled with glory, are no longer the gods they once were. As with the Ties and Tamriel's moons, all cosmic powers will wax and wane. But when gods die, it creates ripples throughout the land. The passing of the three will be a prelude to the end of this era and the beginning of the next. The followers of the end times are making ourselves ready for this to happen. Realize that the end of the era will bring many changes. We believe that the gates of oblivion will open, surely not. And the multitude of data will roam this world freely. Some might tell you that this is a good thing, that we are descended from the Daedra, and it will be a return to the natural order of things. I know differently, though. The coming age will be a time of great horror. Oh, God, you just keep talking. Uh, they will wash over the land, destroy all the men and, and mare. Man and mare have built <laughs> over these thousands of years. Mare is French for ocean. What the fuck are you on about? Uh, the only protection from the scourge will be our true ancestors that have gone before us and watch over us even now. Many of our followers choose to participate in the cleansing to prepare the way for the rest of us. It is a sacrifice to be sure, but it's for the greater good. Do we go over the cleansing? Is a glorious ritual, friend James Duran. Our followers cleanse themselves of all their troubles, and all their burdens here on this earth. They send themselves ahead to the ancestors, spraying our word, making ready for when we shall all join them in our fight against the Daedric Horse. So you kill yourself in order to go talk to ghosts to fight on your side. Hooray! You want to talk about uh, Seville, whatever his name is? Is that is that good enough? Uh, I should report this information to Amalexia. Sweet. Go. Intervention spell. <laughs> That's the fastest way. To get back to my goddess. Um, how you doing, baby? In the light of okay. How, how about like right there? How you doing? You doing good? Well, have you learned about this end of the times called No Leaves? Have you served me well in gathering this information? You know, this text box isn't doing anything for my joke here. Okay, so the ends of times, yes. They will not continue to exist in my city. Right, once again, you're a little full of yourself. But I guess you can be. You're a goddess, after all. They dare. Right. So. The Tribune has lost its power, has it? That's what they're saying. These fools would dare question Amalexia's power. He, her sin. Sure, you're strong, but can you I do it naked? I will give them a power, and you will be my agent. That's not exactly the same. Fine. These fools must be reminded of the true power of a god. Uh-oh. Since the attack on the city, much of my own power has been spent caring for my people. The number of wounded has been astronomical. Like four. And caring for them all has been taxing to even me. Uh -huh. Still, I must demonstrate to these people what it is to mock the will of God. Uh -huh. You will travel to the ruins of Ben's Amshen and activate the Carstens of Chum. 
Okay, you're going to have to say that again, because I am never going to say that on screen. I'm not going to say either one of these. So I do have to go down there and kill everything? Lucy translated the weather witch. Is that you? At its height, the Dwemer civilization was masterful in the use of machinery. The Forbidden Machina? In a time of drought, Dwemer scholars were commissioned to create a machine that would bring rain to their lands. They created the Carl Sang's charm. But charm? Its really? existence was little more than a myth until recently. When the ruins open beneath my city. Shouldn't you know about everything? I wish for you to activate the machine. Make it to create ash storms in Mournhold. Really? Then, these heretics will know the power of all Alexia. How dare you say I'm not benevolent and powerful. Have an ash storm! That's correct. While these storms may be common on the island of Barnabell, they do not occur here. So far removed from the Red Mountain. Ah, oh, crap. Now, though, they will. And these heretics will understand the power of the Tribunal. The power of all Malexia. Okay. Take this and use it to activate the machine. You will have to divine its workings on your own. Puzzle! I believe you are up to task. Super. And she gave me the Power Dwemer Coherer. This sounds... Awful. Alright, baby. I'll see you later. Wink. The hell? She's doing like a Hindu, Buddhist, whatever. I'm over... How heavy was the thing that she gave me? It weighs 40. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so what am I dropping? What weighs a ton and isn't worth that much? Alright, this weighs 60. 32, though. I need to drop 31. Do I have two of those? No, I only got the one. Fine, I'm dropping this. Where'd it go? I want it, though. I want that back. Don't steal it. How you doing? Okay. We... Uh, now I do have to go in there. She doesn't see that I'm fake grabbing her boobs in front of her. You can shut up about that. Okay, so we need to head back to the plaza. And there we can head into the ruins that I'm going to have to just incredibly pillage and destroy and all that good stuff. This this could be fun. This could be awful. Uh, but either way, we're going to have to take care of this next time. Because that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Morrowind. I have been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Copperfield, Darth, James, Doran, the Archmage, Housefather, Picker of Flowers. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.